My name is Shannon Zimmerman. I'm one of the aquarium supervisors here at Discovery Cove. Many people think sharks are voracious eaters. They just have a huge appetite and will eat anything that comes their way. In fact, our sharks here at Discovery Cove are quite finicky. Salmon seems to be a preferred food, food type for them. Um, but in the ocean, actually, or anywhere, sharks are cold-blooded animals. They have a very slow digestive system. In fact, they actually have a specialized organ called a spiral colon, and it's similar to the human intestine. It allows their food to slowly digest in their body, giving them an opportunity to extract all the nutrients out of that food. Uh, and that lets them go several days, several weeks, and in some cases, even several months without eating. So many people think that if you're in the water with a shark, it will bite you. Uh, it's actually quite untrue. Sharks are very common to Florida beaches. So if you've been swimming at a Florida beach, you have been swimming with sharks. It is common that most people think that all sharks need to keep moving in order to breathe, uh, but there's actually several different species of sharks that can lay on the bottom. Uh, they use their mouth to open and close their mouth uh, like a pump, and that's how they're getting the water flowing through their mouth and over their gills to extract the oxygen out of the water. It is not true that all sharks have to lay eggs. There are actually three different ways that sharks can give birth. Uh, some sharks, such as our zebra sharks here at Discovery Cove, are true egg layers. The mother will deposit an egg casing on the floor of the ocean. That pup will hatch out several months later. Other sharks will give seemingly live birth, but at one point in time there was an egg casing within their body that the pup hatched out inside mom. And then other sharks do give true live birth where that pup is born, it's on its own, and again, ready to defend itself.